What's going on, YouTube? This is your DraftKings Addict, bringing my top picks for Tuesday's main DK NBA slate. All right, guys, so we're getting down to the nitty-gritty. There's, what, probably about eight, nine games left in the NBA season, guys. So it's going to get real sketchy, guys. You got to really be specific with your plays. All right, so if you look at the standings here on the screen, guys, we got a couple of teams in the East that have clinched. Uh, we got Toronto, Boston, Cleveland, Philly, Indiana have all clinched. We got Washington, Milwaukee, Miami, Detroit, Charlotte all in the running still. But pretty much Charlotte is pretty much out of it, man. That's his game's out. You know, they have to have the perfect perfect uh, 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 storm to get them into the playoffs, guys. And uh, pretty much same thing with Detroit, but they're still in the hunt, quote-unquote, you know, mathematically speaking. All right, so with that being said, those are teams that we definitely want to try to try to focus on. All right, and so that's in the east and in the west. Uh, as we know, Houston – and go to state at the top, and we got everybody else grinding to get in. All right, we got Portland, OKC, New Orleans, San Antonio, Utah, Minnesota, and then we got Denver and LA, the Clippers, right outside the edge, guys. They're literally like one or two games out of the, the eight and seven seed, guys. So, we got some nice games coming up, and some of these teams are playing against each other in today's slate. All right, guys, so let's break it down. All right, before I get started, guys, let's talk about this draft dashboard. This is the app that I use to select my plays daily. All righty, guys, if you go into the description in this video, there's a 30-day trial for $1. All right, for this app right here, guys. All right, it's called Draft Dashboard. All right, and the 30-day trial is because MLB is around the corner and uh, just want to give you a chance to try it out for MLB and see how it does for you. All right, but what I like about the draft dashboard is the position optimizer. You click on this to optimize each position. And as you can see right here, uh, we got Dame Linden at the top of the board for the point guard. Small Fort. You got LeBron James. Oh, nope, it's Giannis. All right, shooting guard. Uh, we got Victor Oladipo, but, you know, he's dead to me. But I do like Chris Middleton and Lou Will, though. Oh, and C.J. McCollum. All right, in a must-win game versus New Orleans. That should be a good one. All right, guys, but you get the point, guys. You go in here and you click on this little watch player option, each player that you like in each position, and then you go to the lineup optimizer, and the lineup optimizer will spit out the lineup based off the plays that you select. Now, I didn't go through and select that many plays, but as you can see, this is how it works. It, it builds out your lineups. And actually, a couple of players in this lineup right here are some of the plays that I like, as you're going to see in the video, guys. But draft dashboard, give it a shot. Link is in the description, guys. All right, so let's get to it. All right. First and foremost, let's go ahead and look at the uh, the play at the top that I'm going to like, guys. And, again, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I like LeBron James in this spot versus Miami. But, honestly, you know, I don't know if he's going to pay off that 11.6. I know he's been beasting, you know, 70-plus games for like five straight. Then he dropped off and went to just 50 in a blowout versus Phoenix. And then uh, they played at Brooklyn. He did pretty good, put up 64. But uh, this Miami game, you know, I'm not sure how close it stays or – how much LeBron has to do with Kevin Love back. But LeBron is definitely an option, man. But I'm going to take the discount. The last time I did this, it burnt me because LeBron went out for 70-something again. All right? But I'm sticking with my gut. My gut says I'm going Giannis, guys. So that's what I'm locking in. Last time these two teams met, Giannis played a short game. I want to say he got hurt that game, if I remember correctly. All right? But I like him. High usage guy. In a must-win game versus Los Angeles Clippers, who's also in a must-win must win spot. All right, right here you see he played. It was 120 to 127, guys. All right, and the guy only played 17 minutes. All right, so I like him in this matchup. Competitive game, back-to-back, high scoring. Lock in Giannis, guys. It's just, just, just my gut. Just my gut. All right, next up, another player I like in the same game. All right, I'm going to go with Austin Rivers. All right. We got a guard versus uh, Milwaukee. And Milwaukee's point guard is who? Bledsoe. And who would I say I like to attack? Bledsoe, even when he was in Phoenix. All right, guys. So last time his teams met, he played 38 minutes. That would be Austin Rivers, and he scored 40 draft Kings point. Put 22 points, had a couple of steals, had a couple of assists, a couple of rebounds, and uh, lucky he got hot from the three-point line. All right, guys. So look at it here. Lately, he hadn't been too hot from the three-point line, guys. One for three and one for seven. But he's back at home. In a must-win game, he's going to play big minutes because he's the coach's son, all right? But I like Austin Rivers for his points, for his value in a slate with a lot of games that don't matter, all right? Next up, same game. 
We go with my man DJ. All right, we attack Milwaukee at the center position, guys. They have two picks playing center for them. Okay, all right. Hence is not too much of a two pick, but you no, know, come on, Thon Maker, dude. You ever seen that guy? All right. So, long story short, last time these teams met again, my man played thirty seven minutes and put a fifty six draft kings point, guys. All right, and he's been hot lately, except for these last couple of games. I don't know what happened there. Oh, Toronto, that's a tough matchup in Indianapolis. Um, again, couldn't get the points going, but he had 11 rebounds. But I like him in this spot. Again, you attack Milwaukee at the center. Lock in DJ. Go, DJ, because that's my DJ. All right, in Houston, guys, we got a gang of people out, guys, all right? Everybody and their mama sitting because Houston pretty much at the top with 60 wins on the season. You know, we showing up, all right? So, in this matchup, with so many players out, including Harden, which is a high-usage guy, it's got to go somewhere, guys. And this guy, Jared Green, took advantage last game. He put up 40 DraftKings points, guys. All right, he was chunking the ball everywhere. He put up 10 three-pointers, played 32 minutes, all right, and put up, 20, uh, put up 40 DraftKings points. Now, do I think he's going to score 40 again? I don't know. We'll see. But he should be able to pay off his value at 4.7K. All right, you should be able to put up about 35 DK points, 30 to 35 DK points, all right? I like that, all right? Like in Jared Green, all right? Chris Paul should be back playing, guys, but he had, he's playing on a on a tight hammy, and I don't trust it. I'm not playing that, paying that much for him. He may go out and put up 60. I don't know, but I can't play him. I'm sorry. No can do. All right, another player I like tonight, guys, is this guy right here, Kevin Love. All right, I didn't go, I didn't go with LeBron, but I'm definitely playing somebody from this game. Because Cleveland can't put teams away for some reason. Every game is going to go to the end. All right? So I like this guy here, Kevin Love, guys. He's been back from, from, from injury. His minutes is up to 33. You know, I'm not sure how many minutes he's going to play this game. But the last time these two teams met, he played 25 minutes, guys. And he lit them up like a Christmas tree. All right? Four three-pointers. All right? Nine rebounds and 38 freaking points. All right? The dude went the hell off. All right, so I like Kevin Love in this position. No white side, Bam out of Bayou, and and uh, what's the white boy name? Kevin, Kevin, Kelly Olenek, all right? Come on, man. James Johnson, they going to check Kevin Love? Come on, man. All right, locking them in, guys. All right, so there go my top five plays for the day, guys. You got 4.5K left, but there's plenty of value on the slate, guys. I just told you there's a bunch of teams that are just in it just for the hell of it. They're just playing out the games, all right? Get the season over so they can go on vacation, all right? So there's some plays at the bottom that we like, you know. So, for instance, Toronto is pretty much on the lock. You know, they're ready to go. So uh, you can play Van F- Van Fleet, you know. All right. You got him. All right. Also, we got Sykem. All right. He's a good play at 3.9K. All right. You also got the other guy, the other big. What's his name? Portal? Portal? However you see it. All right. This guy right here versus Denver. All right. See, he played 25 minutes last game versus Los Angeles, put up 24. But it's only 3.7K, guys. And uh, I think, you know, pretty much Toronto checked out. You know, they're pretty much going to let their they backups play, I believe. So, all right, guys. So, good luck on tomorrow's slate again. Play light, guys. We get into the nitty-gritty of the NBA season. It's almost over with. All right, guys. There's only a couple games left, and only a couple teams are playing for a reason. So, hey, stick to those games, guys. So, all right, good luck tomorrow. Holla at me in the comments. Let me know how you're doing, guys. Last night's picks were fire for the most part. Had a couple couple duds, but had a couple awesome plays. They should have made up for those duds. So you should have cashed, you know. All right. My lineup put up around 270, and I still had a player in there that got scratched out uh, because I was busy and I didn't realize I still had him in there because I built my lineup the night before and didn't touch it. And, uh, yeah, so that would be Moutier. I still had Moutier in my lineup. But, hey. I only played a small amount, so I wasn't mad about it, you know, because, again, I'm pretty much checked out the NBA, but I'm still playing and doing the research because, you know, I got to provide this content for you guys. So, all right, guys, so like the video, subscribe. All right, guys, and if you get a chance, hey, check out my uh, my MLB introduction video. I put that out today. I'm going to start breaking down MLB and how to attack that. So anybody new to MLB DFS that's uh, tired of uh, NBA and want to come on over and, and get some of this MLB, hey, follow me. I'll lead the way. All right, guys, I'll holler at you.